Good morning all. A nice Sunday morning. Uh, I'll put myself on camera today because I'm rough as a I've got the man flu. In fact, between the two of us, we've done pretty well. Oh, the man flu. Caroline's got a chest infection and broken a foot. First broken bone in her life. Anyway, there you go. That'll see if your fitness isn't good for you. Um, so, it's all looking a bit drab at the moment, but I just thought I'd do a quick video for the little signs of life and the little signs of spring that are coming through to give us some hope for the season ahead. Because it's been a bit grotty recently. We're going to have to throttle the dogs because they've dug it up. But I do like this first sight of spring. The allium's starting to come through there. One of them got a little bit of a spurt on over winter. He's probably regretting it now. And then, we've got this mock orange. And I was looking at this before, it's, it smells fantastic, but I can't smell anything at the moment, so. Um, and let me see if I can spot one out, because this is always a lovely sight to see. There you go, look. Don't know whether, there you go. One of our honeybees out and about and once you've seen one you start to see a lot more of them and I can just hear that faint buzz which is fantastic it's a nice sign of spring the weather warming up so the beehive is just in there and you can just see them coming and going at the front which is just there. They're, uh, they're starting to come, the buds are starting to come up. The cherry tree is starting to bud up. Rody over there. Big bay tree. It's always nice. And then it won't be long before those first daffs are flowering. They're all just starting to push through now. All the daffs, bluebells. Need to get a lot of this rubbish moved. That's got to go. Clean all this up. It's amazing how quickly it goes to shit over the winter. Get all of this sorted out clean all of this where the crap's grown through that I just haven't bothered with because everything else has taken over. Hopefully this year we're going to get all of this sorted out and get the ground floor extension on and then we'll start focusing on the garden and the outside a little bit. This is always looking a bit poo. Covers on, had to lash it down a little bit last night but didn't move anywhere. A bit of algae on the front, but they're looking well otherwise. Look, you can see me in my snuddy and my pyjamas because I'm rotten. These guys are looking well. Looking forward to getting the uh, spawning season underway. A big shag down there. Cracker. one from Danny at my boy's kite. This is Zuri from him as well there. Kijaku from the koi collection. Still looking superb. A couple of Yashiki goi fishing there as well. Kinky and Zuri. And the two Ginrin Sora goi. Growing show fish from Eden Pond, Eden Koi Pond. So there you go, Dave. They're doing well. This one's had a bit of carp box. Um, it's starting to go a little bit now, but uh, quite bad. But the dark ones didn't have any at all. They're, uh, they're looking for a bit of grub. She might throw a bit of food in there. She's got this marker and she keeps She's had it for absolutely ages since I brought her back from the show. I thought she'd bitten a wasp or something, but it's never got any bigger, never got any smaller. Nothing going on inside a mush, so like she's got a black eye, but uh, yeah, other than that, she's well, she won't be getting shown this year. She's uh, 
should be for brood stock this year. Uh, there's Benny Kiko there, that's from New Forest Koi. That's one of the Mark Garden, the Bloodline Benny Kikos. I'm quite happy with the way that's coming on actually. It's a nice fish that. And the Yakiba again. She'll be uh, used for brood stock this year. But the rest of it's a bit of a dump still at the moment. Well, that's going to get ripped down. Well, that's going to get taken down, rebuilt. Uh, I don't know when. Because we've got to do the outside of here first. Look, the letters have fallen off though, we're going to have to paint them back in, just in case there was any doubt. There you go. There's my wrath prize from the growing show last year, which uh, will leave me nicely on in a moment. Just have a quick look at it and see how they are all living. Okay, a little bit of a mixed bag in here. Uh, Kahaku, some shisui from my boys Koi. Uh, the Asagi is what I thought that was where I picked that up from, I can't remember. Uh, some nice achieved I like in with Achiever there. Uh, and then a lot of smaller Kajaku, uh, including some of the Calico ones from the uh, Deep Forest Boy. So, uh, I think we'll have a good one to change and a good clean out yesterday. Some light skin there, not that one down there. I'm not sure what it is, whether it's an ozone or some kind of type, but it's a single cool fish with a put that up there. My boy's boy as well. Uh, but I'm, I'm hoping that the beginning quality on that I can put into it, sort of thing, but it ain't all really sorting out. Spawning brushes in there, ready to go. That's about it, really. There's not really too much to limit it, but it's nice to see spring is starting to come through, um, put a load of filters there to start doing things with, because you can't have enough ponds, can you, clearly? She's just mental. Winnie, are you nuts? You're barking at the seagulls, you're not going to catch them. Um, so, yes, uh, anyway, talking of uh, Danny, my voice going, um, don't forget, 6th of April is the, uh, the growing show where we will be doing the awards for fish um, from the one we did uh, last year. Uh, hard to believe that six months has passed so quickly, but it has. Uh, and then uh, the launch of the next growing show, which is uh, some really high quality Kujaku. So that's going to be fantastic. £75 a go. Uh, but on this one, you're going to have to be there uh, trying to ship koi and shipping mugs and sort of all kinds of stuff out it's just a bit of a logistical nightmare um, we are expecting a lot more people this year in fact the tickets are already flying out the door um, i'm not entirely sure how many are left but you can get those by going on to the my boy my boy's coin uh, website have a look at danny's channel uh, and we will get that on there we're gonna have the usual suspects there will's gonna be there with his wire bonsai so i'm hoping jamie will be there as well i know he's not been too well so hope you're feeling better soon my mate uh, nice to see a video out from you yesterday um, looking looking good so uh, it'd be nice to see him there with his bonsai trees uh, and there'll be a few other store holders uh, there as well uh, so yeah bigger and better again uh, so uh, if you took part in that grown show there is a group for the grown show I think we've only got about 26 people in it and there were nearly 40 people bought them so uh, if you're not in it and you do want to show your fish, um, then uh, please get in touch with me and let me know and I'll add you to the group. For those people who are in the group, we're going to start getting the photographs in. So I need two photographs uh, in a measuring bowl uh, and a short video. It would be fantastic. 
that'll help us judge them uh, and judging uh, will take place uh, in March last week in March uh, I'm off to Australia beginning of March to meet our, our new granddaughter so uh, I'll be back sometime in the middle of March uh, and then we'll start looking at them in that last week of March uh, ready for the awards uh, on the 6th of April at the Holt Lodge Hotel in Wrexham so I look forward to seeing you there it'd be nice to meet some of the guys who are in some of the, the WhatsApp groups and what have you uh, and then roll on the season uh, and getting these shows done and roll on the spring it's coming folks it's definitely coming alright I will catch you all soon take care